Good morning, this is Distract Beam, and today I'm going to be replacing my upper buffer board again. Now, if you haven't seen my old video, it's going to go into a little bit more detail, but just to show what I'm doing, if I put the multimeter on the ground and then check these pins going up, you can see on the multimeter that it stays right about the same. And it's like that for all of these. Except this one. Which means that once again, it's the upper IC that burnt out. Nothing uh, terribly apparent. So let's go ahead and get this on. And before I power it back on, I want to take a look at the sustain board because I was asked how to uh, check this because it wasn't very detailed in the last video. So I'm going to take a look at that now. And to check the sustain board, you just unplug the power supply. And there's two pins. Now you can try and touch these two pins to your multimeter. But what I did in the video, which is why it was a little harder to see, was I just used the back two pins. And you're probably going to see that it's going to jump all the way to uh, shorted but then it's going to drop back down. I still don't know what that means, but that's what it does every time. And, oh, it just kind of stays there now. Now the uh, sustain board might actually be toast too. Looks like it's working again. So I have a theory as to why it's doing this. I think that just these ICs on here get really hot. And because heat rises, the heat from here goes up, the heat from this one goes up, and it all just kind of piles up in this corner. And there are, there are some vents, but they're hanging around here, which means that the heat really holds onto this one, which is why this one gets extra hot and it ends up shorting out. What I did was I got a 5 volt USB fan. So this it runs off a USB and there's a USB plug over here so I'm just going to put this on the outside and then I'm going to run this with an extension cable 
to that side. And looking at the back of the TV, you can see it's already got these holes drilled out. So it looks like that's designed for a fan, maybe for a higher end model or one that gets hotter. So I'm just going to use this. And this is a cutout for an 80 millimeter fan, which is what I got. And I've got a link to this one that I got in the description. The only important thing is you want to make sure that the exhaust is going that way. So just hold your hand up to the fan to make sure that the, uh, the air is blowing in that direction. And it came with some hardware to mount it, so that should make this pretty simple. Yep, how about that? That doesn't work too well. So the USB won't go all the way across, but with a little extension cable you can get that to happen. So this is a simple Amazon Basics, it's a 6 foot so it's way more than I need. I'm going to use that to get from one side of the TV to the other. So you can hear it. it, does make the TV a little bit louder, but if it keeps it from breaking anymore, then that's all great. Another thing is, because this is blowing air out, it has to pull air in on all the other vents, which means that there's going to be more dust inside the TV because of this. So, uh, we'll see how that works.